You know, back in 2009, when I first got into online business and really pursuing uh, becoming a full-time entrepreneur because I had no choice, I got laid off. Um, it was really the height of the recession. That was a hard time for almost every single industry and any business owner. And, uh, you know, the businesses that made it through that were the ones that were the most successful. And at that point, it really struck deep because I had a two month old baby girl. Um, my wife just had a C section. We didn't know what we were doing. It was our first kid. We were young, just trying to figure everything out. I had just gotten laid off. So we had to uh, move into my dad's house. He had room. It was awesome. And then we proceeded to live there for two and a half years until I was able to, I mean, really my wife pushed me to commit even more to the idea that I can and I will. And what we went through was something that I could never possibly imagine in the greatest ways and in the worst ways. So what I did is I taught myself video production and video marketing, and I went out there and I hustled my butt off to get clients, to build relationships, to just close deals and to close sales. And it was very successful. I hit six figures my first year and my second year and third year and, and so on continued um, to build. But what I realized was, um, you know, I was just starting a business for a lifestyle really is what I was looking for. I just wanted to have a better lifestyle. We just had a baby girl. We weren't sleeping. So I was just really looking for, you know, I just want to be able to make good money to have complete freedom over everything and have a really good lifestyle around that. And we definitely did. But at the same time, there was always in the back of my mind, I knew that like if I wasn't trying to build more sustainable ways of scaling my business and other revenue streams for income, not just this one, then it was really just foolish because you really have to try to have as multiple successful revenue streams as possible that continue to scale and grow throughout your lifetime. And that's definitely one of my main goals. So that's why I made myself pursue educating and understanding my uh, my very simple mind at that time because I hadn't gone through a lot of business. I didn't go to college. I was forcing myself just to learn, 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 learn. And so I made myself push through to understand this business model and also take action. So when it comes to starting an AI agency, these are the things that you really need to understand and know. And the main first one is where you can leverage AI right now. And that's really just voice and text based AI applications and uh, services, mainly email, SMS, text message, and direct messaging on social media platforms and things like that. These are all the best use cases of all of the businesses that are running AI agencies or AI businesses. It's all based around these main areas, and it's mainly just voice and text. So that would be voice would be like receptionist or calling or having things be called and then having the agent act as you or as your company receptionist, whatever. And then text can be also like blogs and it can be uh, posting and things like that. There's a lot more you can learn there, but the biggest agencies and the biggest apps and the biggest spaces that make the most money is really voice and text. Next, it's going to be really learning the basics of how to actually get traffic. You got traffic, and then you got to turn those leads, that traffic into the leads, and then those leads into sales. And so you really need to learn the main platforms, which is Facebook ads and Google ads. You need to learn both of those in order to really help any business with AI, because at the end of the day, it's going to really come full circle very quickly and AI agencies are going to be a dime a dozen. If you can't bring a return on investment, not just AI shenanigans, then you're really not going to have a business for very long or an agency. So you need to get experience running ads and being able to leverage getting traffic for businesses because so many businesses, that is the first problem they have. You'll try to sell them AI, you'll talk to them about AI, and then you'll ask them, hey, 
how many people visited your website yesterday? How many leads did you get from that? And they don't know these answers and they probably have zero. So you really got to start from square one and AI is not going to help a business that isn't already working. AI can really only help things that are already working well and help them improve better. Then once you understand how to run ads for any business and be able to get traffic to their website or traffic to their offer and the same thing with Google ads, and then actually have real use cases of doing that beyond AI. Okay. We can set up a lot of things with AI, but there's too many demos that don't have real ROI attached. Running ads and having real ROI attached to that is a much bigger leveraging point than just saying, Hey, look what I built in N8N. I can build it for you. And then the business owner will ask you, well, did it make any money? And you'll be like, I don't know. I've never actually ran it for a business, right? That's not helpful. Then what the main thing is you want to be able to leverage and pitch that you can help increase the bottom line of any business to at least 30% using AI. And then those main goals would be through DM, email, and text message. And that's where you could best leverage AI right now as an agency. Those would be your core offers because that is where AI is currently today. Then once you have these things really down and mastered, then you can get into learning to start approaching clients, attracting clients, and then getting even freelance work if you don't want to jump down the full agency rabbit hole, if you'd rather just build up more work from there. Once you follow this path, and if you do it in this way, you're going to save the most time, you're going to eliminate the most pains, and you're going to really be able to make six figures as fast as humanly possible because you're going to go into the marketplace with actual use cases that are from real businesses that have real results. And that's what business owners want to see is results and they want to be pitched results. If you go over to AIagnets.com, I have a special offer for you.